All right, so uh, this is the second, I guess, stream live that I've done. If anyone is tuning in, let's just get started here. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the FTMO. I just logged in. As you can see, um, not much has happened really. And I think it's probably to do with, uh, we did take out the really, the main pairs that do a lot of the work, which are the GDP pairs. And uh, actually, I'm just gonna pull up the manual right here. Uh, yeah, here we go. And uh, so we did take out GDP USD. Uh, we also took out Euro GDP and GDP JPY. And I feel that those these pairs trade quite a bit, especially the GDP USD and uh, Euro GDP, as we know. Uh, using the XBOT, that those are fairly frequent pairs uh, that are used. But um, it does say that, you know, you can use whatever pairs that we want. Now, I think just for, you know, I guess this series, I'm going to stick to what's recommended because uh, that's what works. It, they That's what they say, or the creator of the bot says it works, and that's what we are going to use with the FTMO with the test challenge and what we're doing right now because um, why veer off from the path when the path is already there for us and uh, you know people that are watching that are potentially wanting to purchase the bot I want them to know that using what's in the manual and what's uh, recommended to you is always better to do than going off and doing whatever you like so um, so we did set it up properly we did put it on the 15 minute last time and everything is on automatic um, but potentially we could be changing some settings just because uh, as you can see back on the account here and why we are doing the test challenge first instead of just jumping into the challenges because uh, if we started this uh, on the 23rd which was about a day ago and only one trade is, has been committed and we have to hit a goal of uh, 5,000. Uh, you know, we kind of want to see trades active or at least maybe in the next few days start seeing some trades happen. Yeah, I'll just kind of like go over just kind of what's happened so far. As you can see, we profited 1489. Um, and uh, we had to pay the commission fee, obviously, per lot, it's $3. But that's pretty much it. So like, it's, there's not very much really to show uh, for the FTMO right now, um, but that potentially changing the settings, which is what I think we're gonna look at right now. So if I log into my VPS, and um, as you can see, no trades at the moment, but um, if we open up our settings here, you can see the pairs that we have. So these are the pairs that we're that we're working with, and um, I'm gonna just turn, I'm I'm gonna turn off safe mode just for a day to see kind of if more tr or potential trades open. Though I don't think it'll apply just because it is a fifty thousand dollar account, and if we go back to the manual. Go back to the manual here, everybody. Um, it does say, because safe mode here, if safe mode is on and you have multiple pairs selected, safe mode will only allow the EA to have trades open for one pair at a time for every $500. So if we have $50,000 already, every pair is already going to be activated anyways. So I don't think turning off safe mode is going to affect anything. I'm going to do it anyways just to see for kind of like shits and giggles, but let's just see what happens. Um, but as the manual says, it shouldn't matter because with the amount of pairs that I have, as you can see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven pairs with a $50,000 count and I'm allowed to use one pair per 500. I, I got a lot of room to move around, right? So I could add way more pairs, but uh, that's not what that's not what we're doing. We're using the recommended pairs, and uh, we're gonna see how that's gonna work. But I'm gonna turn off safe mode for now, just to see what happens over 24 hours. And again, this is why we're doing this series is because we're gonna test out the bot and find the best settings, and we're gonna tweak everything around and really look dig down deep into this bot to see if it's 
if it can actually do it and consistently uh, move on and make profit even after the test. Because like I was saying in the previous video, if you go and watch the video I go over, it's not passing the test that's really the big problem. It's passing the test and then can you be consistent using the bot without going into drawdown because you can have some good weeks or good months using the bot. I, I, I've had it with my personal account when I use the Xbot, but in if, if you have a good month or two good months, you are going to have a month where you're, you are in the red or you are, uh, you're in drawdown. And how far that drawdown will go, uh, you don't really know because it's always different. And because, again, something I mentioned in the previous video, if you go take a look, we're also in a time right now where the world is just crazy and the market is doing crazy things that it doesn't usually do on like a regular year like if we were to be back like four or five years before so again like there's so many factors coming into this and with the ftmo rules the five percent drawdown daily ten percent total you know it, it, you you don't know and though you may feel you have a good lot size and you're making good profit is that the right lot size when you're having a red day or a red week or a red month are you going to hit those five percent faster you're making good profit but if if you aren't and you're leaving the bot and it's a fully automated bot so you are supposed to leave and not do very much with it with the settings can you survive a drawdown and what is the right lot size so that you don't hit that drawdown limit and that's what we're on the search for so uh we're just turning safe mode off and again if you're just tuning in now remember that uh, it shouldn't matter if it's off or on because we have a fifty thousand dollar account with seven pairs it's five hundred dollars per pair so we're way within that limit just in case okay here uh, okay so everything looks like it's done I got the successful activation check uh, we turned off the safe mode everything looks good in our experts file and experts and then also uh, here as well loaded successfully in 15 minutes so uh, it looks like everything is good right now so we can close this and um, I think that's pretty much it for uh, the FTML part of this video um, I'm I want to do it as often as possible but as you can see nothing's really happened and um, I could be just because um, we don't have the main pairs there that are usually doing the work or maybe it's just uh, you know the pairs just haven't activated yet but I know that the bot is working because we've already taken a trade with uh, uh, USD CAD and so if one of the pairs is working it means all the other pairs are going to be working it's just they haven't hit I guess the parameters for the bot to activate and so it's just a waiting game I'd rather not enter into the market and force it or feel like there's something wrong I'm just gonna wait waiting is always better nothing can you can never lose anything waiting so um, we have some catching up to do. We still have a lot of time, um, but that's, I think that's it for uh, the FTMO part of the video.